because I know a lot of people have said that their mother, you know, they're not around with, with them or their grandmother and they used to make roti or they used to make a, a particular snack and they don't know how to make it. But my recipes, they can relate to it. So it's, it's been really, really good and it's inspired me more to, to carry on. Oh yes, they've all been a part of this, you know, my whole, my journey actually. So growing up in a whole, in a family of foodies, I would say, especially my mother, of course, um, she is a, a amazing cook and she would let me alongside her you know watch her she'd say okay you do this add this chilies turmeric cumin this is what you need to do this is how we you know chop the potatoes or onions even simple things you know and i think it must have been about nine years old i think my interest started from that and you know the smell of amazing food that she's she cooks She's also a baker as well, so I picked up all the baking skills from her. And then moving on to like my school being very close to my grandmother's. So I would pop into my grandmother's and um, in, so I've got lots of fun memories of her. I mean, she's not with us today. Uh, she passed away sadly uh, 11 years ago. So she is also an amazing cook and I think she picked it up from her mother. And uh, she was born in Malawi, Africa and then she moved to India. So she's got a mixture of those, the, the cooking style. Also growing up, I've got one brother, so we would be in the kitchen and we'll just make something very simple like um, pasta, um, just like a, a tomato and cheese pasta or something or noodles. Um, so he's also a, you know, a foodie too. And, um, and then I think that's pro they're probably the most inf influential you know, people I'd say in my life. And my dad, he, he makes this delicious uh, cardamom and uh, lemon cake. And I have actually put the recipe in the book as well, uh, which is really, really easy. Because I know a lot of people have said that their mother, you know, they're not around with, with them or their grandmother and they used to make roti or they used to make a, a particular snack and they don't know how to make it. But my recipes, they can relate to it. So it's, it's been really, really good and it's inspired me more to, to carry on. It's such a, it was always a dream to, to have a book, but, but I didn't know how. Personally, myself, I love recipe books and I love flicking through recipe books. And I think it comes from my mother again, because she's got like a whole shelf of recipes. And she also has a, a few recipe books that she just scribbles into, you know, how. And I've also got a recipe book as well, where it's, they're quite old, Mars, so they're like, I've dated them. And I think it's like a diary and you'd say, I'd put down oh, a recipe from mum, a recipe from my aunt, a um, recipe from my friend. So it's nice and it, it just brings you memories. Oh, I made it on Eid or I made it the night before Eid, my grandmother, we would get together and we'd make this particular sweet samosa together with my aunties and my mum and we'd be like rolling the sheets. So it's, it was really nice. So I thought, um, and, and also you know, people are asking, you know, why don't you have a book? And then when the opportunity, of course, came, I had to grab it. And, um, and that's how the journey of, of, of this uh, Ramadan book started, where we found there isn't a Ramadan book anywhere. And there's a gap in the market. And uh, we thought, really, you know, is there? We, we didn't even think about it. And then when we looked into it, and yes, there is. So here we go, we've got a Ramadan cookbook now with 80 delicious recipes. Food does play a part in Ramadan, of course. There's also that spiritual side of it, of God consciousness, and you know, feeling close to, to, to Almighty, and also having the family around. You know, we don't always have that time every day. So it's, I always look forward to Ramadan, and also the fact that it's, I feel it's like a, a month of, um, it's, a train, it's training for us, feeling generous, giving charity. Not that you don't throughout the year, but it's just extra and more and sharing food with our neighbours and my children going to the neighbours as well. So it's teaching them about sharing and caring for your neighbours as well and your family. And so we do do that, you know, and I think it's, it's, it's a lovely time. So art was something that I absolutely love. I loved, you know, at school, I still do. And um, I think it's just the colours and being creative and how things match each other. I mean, I do that at home with like my, um, just interior design as well, you know, what goes, the curtain goes with the carpet, the sofa, whatever. So um, then I, um, I thought, I obviously had, I got married, 
going to work, having children. So I couldn't carry on that skill. But then when I got into my food blogging, which was just started with a few pictures posted on Instagram, um, I didn't have an idea of what Instagram was. And I thought, oh, what is this, you know? Um, and it was a, obviously found out it's a platform of sharing pictures. So I think I put my skill of art into my food and I use that in photography and how food should look and the colours again, how they, they would, because food is very colourful. And then um, I thought I have to, I've got this artistic skill and it's coming across now in this. And then it slowly, slowly moved into um, YouTube. And that, that was because one of my friends said, you should do YouTube channel. And I was like, no. I'm not doing YouTube because that's not me. So you'd find some of my videos are very cringy, very um, just basic, I, I guess. I wouldn't want to look at them now. Um, just a few pictures plastered around, a uh, few texts. And then slowly that's moved on to a bit more confidence. And, you know, my husband who has been supportive all throughout my journey. And he's like, no, you know, it's, it's good. You're teaching people, you know, it's, it's a worldwide web. You're sh teaching people how to fold samosas. Um, not everybody can see that in a picture easily. So, and then getting feedback from people, um, sharing their sort of pitch, the pictures and messaging me that their, their children are making it, their families are trying it out and they absolutely love the recipes. And that made me so happy. And um, yeah, so this, so this is what, you know, has really inspired me and, and I've continued and I'm so happy that I've been able to help people. I just feel so honoured, I was so humbled, you know, that um, people actually like that I'm, I'm, do, I'm, I'm in this field, I'm, I'm sharing, I'm helping. For me, it's even if it's, I've helped one person. So I wasn't expecting to go anywhere with this. Um, and I'm, I'm just happy that whatever, wherever the Almighty takes me, I'm forever thankful for. Um, and Alhamdulillah, you know, of course we put our work in, into to what we do, but ultimately um, I want to continue helping and, um, you know, sharing this life skill so people after can uh, make delicious food for their families.